didn't throw it at you. I was like, woohoo. No, I was kidding. If, if you drop it, they'll never let us come back to one. That is true. But do we get to keep it? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this ends up in one of our backpacks before it gets back out on the floor. No, they've got other events that they need to do. Hey! We're at the Microsoft Lounge. Well, it's like, what are you doing here? No. We're starting a video. We're inside this time, which is much better than last time. We're not in your car. I mean, That's you true. me wrong. Your car was great for soundproofing, but we're here at the Microsoft Lounge. Obviously, there was a big uh, press event, new surfaces across the board. This is the Surface Pro 9. I'm very excited about the Surface Pro 9, but I want to start with Surface Studio. Studio, yes, the big guy. Studio was a huge upgrade. You were talking specs with one of the engineers, and so, it sounds like it's a nice upgrade across the board. It's for a much faster upgrade, uh, discrete graphics, uh, uh, RTX 3060, i7 core built in, um, beautiful 32 inch display that splits into four, basically you can customize so much. Yeah. The hinge mechanism on this is absolutely fantastic. One oh, of it's gorgeous. Options. And it, like your ability to like one finger pull and thing. drop and, it, and it's really so well So one of the considered. options they do really nicely is they put the keyboard the, the, the keyboard for it. If you put it all, all the way next to the, uh, the dock itself and you bring the display, <laughs> it covers the keyboard. It's yeah. perfectly designed. There's like a lot of detail attention there. Well, and, and that seems to be a running theme for the whole event. I mean, uh, transitioning out of, we're, we're going to talk about the laptops and the pros. Oh, no, absolutely, yeah. But we also spent a little time talking about their initiatives with accessibility yes and and tr creating products that are not only easier for people who are differently abled mm -hmm. um, I know I'm not saying that right someone please correct me in the comments like how you're supposed to describe this because it's a benefit um, but also these types of initiatives kind of improve products for everybody yep. no, no, so exactly. uh, they had mice mouses <laughs> with modular components you could go left-handed or right-handed they had different control surfaces that they were going to be delivering the uh, 3d schematics the schematics at so launch. people can exactly. build their own sort of uh, uh accessibility 3D printed models you can print your own design your own and Imp use the existing design to leverage it so you don't have to work exactly. you know back backwards engineer a design to be able to build on <laughs> you use it as the base to start um what really spoke to me the most though uh, honestly was wanna, the, the oh yeah yeah, yeah. it was the uh, the modularity functionality what we got here with the mouse the, the tinier mouse that you can connect into a bigger uh, like a regular form factor mouse and you're also able to print it in a way where you're able to shift it from right-handed to left-handed configuration mm -hmm. manually in like literally not even two seconds so a lot of things being done uh, in the accessibility realm, and of course, functionality with the new pen, uh, the ability of basically customizing uh, whatever function you want. Up doesn't have to be up. Up could be sideways yeah. if that's what your capabilities to, to, to are. Really kind of it's like, really very, it, very well. It's lit. so silly because that sounds like something, oh, well, someone who maybe has different control uh, digits yeah, their capabilities or hands. are different, and you, but you that's need to not, make it work. That's not something unique. Like, if you just have a funky workstation setup, and you just have have to have your mouse work in a different direction, this is what I, like we've been saying in a number of our videos. Like, if you yeah. build with accessibility in mind first, it actually makes a better product for awesome. everybody yeah. in that kind of customization. Make it for everybody, but also making it for, for you. So it's kind of like meeting in between and making it function. And also that a lot of this stuff is just going to be natively baked into Windows. So it's yeah. not going to be a Surface initiative. A lot of this stuff is going to be rolling out to all of their partners, all of the other people that are making these products yeah. so that you have a broad base of Windows, Windows being exactly. able to take advantage of it. Okay, so now we're holding a Surface Pro. So which, so which one did you grab? Uh, hold on. We got the uh, the, this is the uh, i7 the, right yeah here. the i7 okay. model. So, so there's two models that are going to be coming out, yes. which is really where we're super excited. Now on top of that, obviously the new designed uh, dock on the bottom, as well obviously yeah the the, the kickstand, the Surface kickstand that is iconic, all the way. almost all the way flat. Okay, this is going to look really familiar if you've seen a Surface. Yeah, before. this is we're not blowing your mind not, here yet. <laughs> it was like yet. Ooh. <laughs> uh, the ATX built uh, design one, which is essentially in collaboration with Microsoft, utilizing Windows on ARM yeah. and allowing us to have long battery life. Gorgeous display, and from a form factor, they look identical, with the exception of antenna bands. Antenna bands, which so is that's, that's it. it. That's the only way to tell, Just tell them apart. Antenna bands. But you put them next to each other, they look the same, the same display uh, parameters. But you get longer battery life, cooler uh, running. Um, compatibility with so many more functional options that you get in there. With so we, 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 we weren't able to dig in because I really am anxious to see what the compatibility is going to be like for yeah. Android apps because we're talking about Windows 11 having better support for Android programs. Yeah. Um, but the core native features coming to uh, Windows 11 are already well integrated mm -hmm. and they're working with the same kind of things we've been playing with on phones for a while. Yeah. Having those MPU AI machine learning tools 
that can better remove background noise. Backgr oh my from God, your the phone. microphones on this thing. In, It'll track yeah. your webcam like we've seen on maybe a Motorola in the past. <laughs> Hold I on. mean, I want to make sure. No, no, no. Keep talking. I want to so, make sure I got the email because I got the audio. Okay, so he, and hopefully he, you guys can listen he, to well, that. He'll send it to me and maybe I'll put this into the video, but I'm sure he's going to put out a video too. You'll want to catch it there also. So to me, this is now it's a better purpose built road warrior solution for something that's a very thin, light, easy to, to uh, travel with tablet. Absolutely. That you've got kind of a purpose built battery life solution. If you still need x86 and you still, you still need your the Win32 programs, then about $1,000 on the x86 and about $1,200 for the 5G model. But I like that. So it's it's going to start at a higher price, but you're going to start with more storage. Well, not only that, unlocked and 5G. 5G. But no, it's unlocked. So, it's not specifically to a yeah, specific Yeah, they pulled it up. Uh, T carrier. TK got all squirrely when I was like, oh, it's uh, T Mobile. It's T Mobile 5G. I'm like, the, 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 usually it's like good. a Verizon partnership. So I'm just glad Which is to not see a problem. that there are other things. Obviously, it's always so. great to have connection and have the option to have Look, 5G. Look, it was like, it's, it's not a problem, but but for me. But for but, me. But it's okay if it's free, but but it, for me. It, it speaks to me on a, on a, on a personal level. So um, wrapping it all up, I, I think uh, the Surface Lab top um, again just no, nothing is going to be a radical departure from what you've seen on previous generations of hardware Absolutely. but we're sprucing up the line 12th gen intel core i5 for the 13 inch model starting out core i7 for the 15 inch, 15 -inch model yep. and and again it's just those little attentions to details we've been playing with the surface laptop go 2 exactly and when when microsoft is showing off product engineers talking about like the elegance of the hinge those things do help contribute to a nicer experience. Like you think it's kind of silly, but then you try to open up your laptop or even like a Surface where I was trying to shoot video and I could one hand get the kickstand open, open it from the keyboard blade and it was all right where I needed it to be. Those little touches really do help. The yeah, new pen dock like right there. Right you've heard, you, in there. If you've followed my yeah. channel for the Duo, you know I've been complaining about charging my Duo pen in the little caddy. So uh, tons of stuff coming out. They've got Absolutely. some some custom hardware. They've got a laser etched model of the Pro that's going to be coming out. Some yeah, yeah, some colors. custom designs on there. I'm Wallpapers happy to see as well. colors, yeah, yeah, yeah. more colors. So this one with? is the Forest. It's not the Sage. This is the new one. So definitely really nice and deep. Yeah. So the Pro gets Forest. It's a little darker. The laptop gets Sage. Sage. It's a little, a little lighter. lighter. Yeah. It's nice. But they still really, really nice. I, so I'm happy we're able to make it. We're, we're going to be uh, definitely covering a lot more of this stuff. We're going to be following up with uh, Microsoft PR, just seeing which of these we can steal. Um, <laughs> I'm sure they're going to be cool with that. I tried. I um, tried the easy put in my pocket, and but you know, a lot of the stuff here is <laughs> just kind of yeah, 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 right yeah. there. Well, no, I tried with um, the mice, but yeah. So. I, I probably just got us kicked out of every future Microsoft event by trying to play that. Um, <laughs> but uh, you're going to have some follow-up coverage too, Absolutely. just talking about the full event, and uh, definitely keep an eye out for some of these conversations as we look at a little bit more mobility and a little bit more Windows, kind of catching up on those things that we've been chatting about in Android land for a while too. So I'm really stoked to see this direction. Absolutely, and I'm, and I'm loving the fact that we can use USB-C now to charge up our laptops. <laughs> Nothing against the proprietary connector, but one cable, one charger runs everything. It's, so, it's, it's such a small thing, and yet... Makes, that, it, makes the whole world better. That's where we're at. So yeah. folks, thank you so much for watching, for sharing. More to come, more conversations to, to, to come. And a thank you to Microsoft for letting us crash their outside space here, just so we could shoot that for you. Definitely make sure you're following TK on the socials and subscribe to his channel. And I'll catch you all on the next video. Bam. He got it. <laughs>